Welcome to VLSI lecture series. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you Boolean function implementation using NORA CMOS in this video. So in my previous video, I have already explained you what is NORA CMOS and how to implement circuit of CMOS using NORA CMOS. Right. So here, first I'll give you a question and after that we will implement that function using NORA CMOS step by step. So let me give you a question first. So my question is, So you see in this question, we are dealt with to implement Boolean function using NORA CMOS. And if you observe this given function, then that is A plus B whole bar dot C again whole bar plus D dot E whole bar. So see this is how function will be given and that we can form by using NORA CMOS. Now see, before I explain you the basic logic which is there with NORA CMOS, let me explain you what are the operations that we are dealing with to perform. So here we will be performing dot operation means ending operation and in dot operation PMOS connection that should be there in parallel and NMOS connection that should be there in series and for plus operation means OR operation we are a little bit to have PMOS connection in series and NMOS connection in parallel. So these are the basic rules that one should never forget to have any circuit formation of CMOS. Now you see in NORA CMOS all we need to do is first we need to have a formation by a formation of NMOS block, PMOS block and NMOS block. Like you see, here we have A plus B whole bar. So here first we will form NMOS block of A plus B whole bar. After that we will be forming PMOS block over here with A plus B whole bar dot C whole bar. After that we will be having third block which will be there with NMOS block and that will be of complete function. Right. So here three bars are there. So we need to form uh, consecutive blocks of NMOS and PMOS. First block will be of NMOS, then of PMOS and then of NMOS. So see here, first I will be making NMOS block and where we will be performing A plus B whole bar. Secondly, we will be forming a block of PMOS where we are delivered to make A plus B whole bar dot C whole bar and then in third block we will be having NMOS block in which we will be having A plus B bar dot C whole bar plus D dot E whole bar. Right. So let us have this step by step. So first as I have said we need to make A plus B whole bar with NMOS block. So here I will make NMOS block. So A plus B in NMOS for plus operation it should be there in parallel. So here in NMOS block A and B that is there in parallel and in NMOS block we need to take output from upper terminal. So this output that will be A plus B whole bar. Right. Now we need to form PMOS block where you see A plus B whole bar that we already have dot C that we need to perform using PMOS. So for a dot PMOS is there in parallel. So here you see one PMOS that is over here and that is what we connect it with A plus B whole bar and dot C. So here we have second input C. So this is our PMOS block. Right. And in PMOS block we take output from this terminal. So this terminal is having output which is A plus B bar dot C whole bar. Right. After that we have NMOS block 
now you see in nmos block we already have a plus b bar dot c bar after that there is plus operation so with nmos block plus means parallel so here we have nmos which is there with this signal and in parallel with that we have d dot e so what with d dot e nmos is there in series so here we have d dot e operation in series to each other and this is in there in parallel with this so this is my nmos block which is resulting into this and our output that is there from this terminal and this is what my output y this is what my output y right so in nmos block we need to take output from upper terminal and in pmos block we need to take output from lower terminal uc now all we need to do is we need to provide gated clock right so here we need to provide gated clock so in gated clock here we have vdd and with nmos block we need to provide clock signal so here we have gated clock and here we have nmos with clock signal but when you have pmos block at that time here we need to provide gated clock with pmos but that clock should be clock bar and here we need to provide nmos with gated clock and here we should be having clock signal as clock bar and this is our nmos block so in nmos block here we have vdd and then pmos is there with gated clock and here we have nmos with gated clock so you see here all we need to do is we need to form gated clock with nmos block with clock signal and gated clock with pmos block with clock bar signal right and see this is how complete boolean function that we can form it by having nora cmos logic so i think now it is clear to all of you how we can utilize nora cmos and how to form boolean circuit by using nora cmos basic steps i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be resolving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you so much